Microsoft Excel offers a range of innovative ways to create spreadsheets ideal for teachers interested in managing their class lists, calculating information and providing accurate feedback for students and parents. Here I've created a simple, easy to use gradebook that sorts each assessment task, calculates grades and averages and also indicates errors and inconsistencies to follow up later. Furthermore, it can be incorporated with Microsoft Word to create individual handouts containing their results and comments. This is a two-part tutorial. The first part will help you to set up the gradebook, whilst the second part will show you how to create informative handouts for each individual student complete with grades and comments. All the files you require can be downloaded using the links provided. The Gradebook Excel spreadsheet contains three worksheets. The first one being the grade chart, which is basically consists of this simple table here, a sample class with some sample information and a class report, which is basically a blank template for you to use. So I've head back to the grade chart. Uh, it's well worth um, looking at this information and making sure that it is accurate. Depending on what school you're at, it might vary. In my case, I have a 47 um, out of 50 or above equates to 94%, which is an A+, 42 to 46 is an A, etc, etc. So you can make any changes in this column if you um, feel it's necessary. And you can also change what the um, it equates to in terms of its grade in that column here. This percentage is just a calculation, so we'll calculate whatever figure is placed in this cell here. So once you've got this information in, it, um, in place and it's nice and accurate, then you can move over into, well, we'll have a look at the sample class just to see how this works. In this worksheet, I've placed uh, some student names, both their surname in this column and also their first name in this column. You can copy and paste information from various other spreadsheets if you feel necessary, or then you can, or otherwise you can add them manually. So in this case, I'll just place another name down the bottom. And when you do so, a, a, a figure will be automatically placed in this um, column here, just to give you a quick indication of how many students you have uh, within the class. Now these three columns here will calculate the grade depending on what the student has received for each task. So I'll head over into this column here. And first of all, I've named a task in this uh, little cell here called photographic analysis. Now for, for this particular task, I've placed a numerical value of 10. So the task is out of 10. In this uh, cell here, I have a choice of what type of task it is. So it helps you to categorize all your assignments and tasks. So in this case, it is classwork. Now I'll just quickly head over to class report and sample class just to refresh the Excel spreadsheet because whatever you choose, whether it be homework or participation test or quiz, it will change the color of the cell up on the top. So it just helps you to define each and every sort of category. So I'll head back to classwork and I'll just let that refresh. And in this case, I'll place a classwork task, which is out of 10. And I'll just delete this contents here. So I'll just right click and just clear the contents. So what I'll do if Luke got a nine out of 10, I'll hit nine and that equates to an A and 90% and 45 out of 50. So we'll try another one, seven out of 10, which is 70%, 35 out of 50, and now it has received a B. So if I go a little bit lower, so if I try a five out of 10, you also notice in this column here, it's showing a bit of a yellow sort of indicator. It's basically to indicate to the teacher or the user that it is borderline satisfactory. In this case, he's receiving a C, which is a 25 out of 50. If we go a little bit lower than that, a three out of 50 is a 30% and it has a red indicator to indicate that he is on an unsatisfactory uh, mark at the moment. There are some other um, little features of this, um, of this worksheet, which allow you to um, sort of define whether there are any errors or inconsistencies. So for example, if I go over the allocated points being 10, so for instance, 11, or we'll have a red um, or orangey uh, red sort of highlight over that particular cell, just to indicate that there is an error to follow up a little bit later. 
Also, if you type, if the actual student was absent during a task, you can just quite simply type in ABS for absent and hit enter, and that will also highlight um, in yellow just to indicate to the teacher that it might be well worth uh, following this up at, at a later stage. In some cases, depending on the actual task itself, you may wish to provide students with some more feedback about the actual task itself or you may wish to just provide yourself with more information about the student and how they went with a particular task. So what I'm going to do is start a brand new worksheet and provide more comments and information about their result in which they've just recently gotten. So for instance, if I head over to assignment two, I might call this one visual uh, composition task, I hit enter. And I might make this one just out of 50, just for something a little bit different. And I'll call this um, a homework task. Now, if I'll just refresh that really quickly, you can see the green shade to indicate that it's a homework task. Now, before I start adding some information here, I'm actually going to start a brand new worksheet. So that way I can um, add some more information about the task. So I'm going to head over to this little tab here, insert worksheet, click that once, and I'll even double click on this and call this one visual composition task. So I know what task it is. And what I'm going to quickly do is just set up a quick spreadsheet. So I'm going to just add a header for the last name. Last name. Uh, first name. This will be a column for their results and just another com um, cell for their a comment. So what I'm also going to do is head over into this cell here. Now, Instead of just um, instead of manually inserting their names or even copying and pasting, what I'm going to do is just head over to uh, this cell here and select the equal sign. And I'll head over to the sample class and I'm just going to click the very first student, making sure that it is also in the surname. Select that once and hit enter. And if I click this again and drag this down to the 12th student or 13th student on the list, and that automatically copies basically whatever's in that cell and beyond. So I'll do the same to the first name equals sample class, this one here, and I'll select it, just grab this little indicator here and drag it down. And I'll just spread these out so it's just a little bit easier to see. The result can remain the same and I'll just span that out so I've got a bit of room for the comments. Now I'm just going to turn this into just an, um, a nicer looking table, just one that's a little bit easier to manage. So I'll just highlight the table itself. I'll go into insert table and making sure that my table uh, has headers and click OK. And that's looking a little bit nicer. So for Luke Boykert, for this visual composition task, I'm giving him a 10 out of 10, and I'm uh, sorry, it's out of 50, so I'll give it a 45 out of 50, and I'll say, great work, Luke. And for Ethan, I will give him a 35 out of 50, a great effort, and, and excellent. So now that I've finished the assessment for the visual composition task, I'm going to transfer the information that I've provided here, being their results, the numerical figures, back into, in this case, the sample class worksheet. So you'll notice that the, this particular chart here needs to be updated. So instead of uh, just manually inserting the information, I'll head back over to the visual composition task. I'm just going to see, um, observe Luke Boykert's mark being a 45. I'll head back over to the sample class. I'll select uh, Luke Boykert visual composition task, select that cell and hit the equals sign on the keyboard, back over to the visual composition task and select his result and press enter. And he's received a 45 out of 50. And I'll select that and grab this little indicator here and drag it down to the last student. Now all the results have been updated 
and all the calculations have been made here. With the information that I provided in this visual composition task worksheet, we can transfer this information into uh, Microsoft Word using mail merging. So in this case, we can provide students, individual students with their results and a comment to take home with them. So this is a great way to provide um, individuals with uh, some accurate feedback. So in the links provided, I've included a simple Word document that looks basically like this. It contains a simple heading, which can be changed to just about anything. Another subheading, in this case, I have Folio Task 2 Visual Composition. A space for the name of the individual student. Their final result, so in this case, it is out of 50. A brief description as to what the um, task was about. And just a space for the comment to be added at a later stage. Now, before we in start in adding the information into Microsoft Word, we have to just bounce back to Excel and make sure that this is accurate and more importantly that this has been spell checked. So what I'm going to do is just highlight these um, columns here. I'll head over to review and click spelling and just make sure that all the spelling has been updated, checked and, and everything is um, correct. So now I've made a minor adjustment. We'll click OK and now we can start mail merging and moving it into Microsoft Word. So to do that, I'm just going to save the document, but better yet, I'll just save as, and I'll just place it in my desktop here, and I'll just call it graybook underscore v1. So I'll just save it there so I know where to place it. I'll just replace it there. Now I'm going to head over to the Microsoft Word document, and now we just need to basically load up the Excel spreadsheet. And to do that, we head over to the mailings tab and we select select recipients. And we go up to use existing list and we just find the Excel spreadsheet. So wherever you saved it to, in this case, mine's on the desktop. Now this dialog box is basically asking us to indicate what worksheet that you want to work with. So in this case, we want to select the visual composition task and click OK. Now, in my case, it's added some information already, but I might just double click on that and just delete it just to make sure that we're all uh, got a clean slate. Now I'm going to start with my name and if I head over to the insert mail merge field, I'll select that and I'll type and I'll select first name. I'll hit space on the space bar and then select last name. I'll head over to this dialog box here or this um, text box and select result and I'll head over to the comment and just type in comment here. Now to preview our result we just hit this little um, tab here and in this case we've got Luke Boykett's result which is a 45 out of 50 and his comment here. We can cycle through all the reports here so next one Ethan Brown got a 35 out of 50 which is um, a comment an excellent effort. Now this is an A4 document, so this can be printed and then um, given back to the students um, to provide them with feedback um, and also to obviously highlight what their result was for the task. But to print these off, we have to go up to finish and merge rather than file and print. So if we want to complete this, we can go up to finish and merge and print documents. And this will, um, we can indicate exactly what uh, records that we want to um, print. So from maybe one to five, if you like, or you can just quite simply print all and click OK. And once you're ready, you can click OK and every uh, report will be printed out on individual A4 uh, handouts. So thanks for listening to this uh, little tutorial and hopefully you get some use out of the gradebook. Uh, please stay tuned for more updates and more tutorials and please visit my website mylesson.com.au. Thank you very much. See you later.